Alright guys, so we came across this truck here a while ago back actually. It was like the guy sold it and then it was unsold and then I don't know what happened. A little bit of a... But anyways, it's back up in Marketplace. So it's a 1972 GMC. Uh, this is the guy out of Kingston, Ontario. Brings back uh, the trucks from Alberta. Uh, $6,900 for this thing. Uh, I'll read you the description. It's a uh, 350 V8. It's an automatic. It's an Alberta truck. Frame is in good shape, he says. And it runs and drives. And uh, it's all original panels on it. It's got it up for no trades. So straight up cash, I guess. So, so I mean, uh, this would be something I definitely would pick up if I had the cash, like I say, like I say all the time, pretty much. Um, it's not oh, too bad, actually. Like It's got a bit of a whammo right up here. Um, that's something I would just try and fix myself, like just get a body. I got a couple bodywork hammers here. I would try to pound this stuff back out straight again. Um, even the grill, I just pop the grill off. Maybe try to straighten it back out again or something like that. Um, I wouldn't probably wouldn't do too much to the body. Uh, it would just fix any kind of severe rust or anything. But I mean, it's it's not too shabby of a truck. I mean, this side is the best side of it. Uh, we'll go around to the other sides here, but uh, even the bumpers. Uh, I mean, just maybe straighten them out a bit and give them a coat of paint or something like that. So this side here is pretty banged up. Um, Hard to say what this, I don't know if this truck belonged to a, a farmer or what, but I mean, it's just, it's all kind of banged in up here, <laughs> down the bottom is the worst. Um, I I think the same thing too, I might try and get a rubber mallet or something, try to maybe pound this stuff out straight again, or just get it close or something like that, you know, and uh, just probably drive the thing as is. Um, I mean, other than like the door and the the bedside here, uh, the truck isn't too bad, really. I mean, like I said, it's got that whammo right there in the in the hood, I should say. Um, yeah, but that's not really that bad. Um, all the glass, everything's intact in this truck. That's the that's the big thing right there. Um, it's an Alberta truck too, so it's pretty solid. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of rust here and there. Like, nothing's ever perfect anyway, so, uh, see what she looks like uh, all the way around. It's got that derelict kind of feel to it. I mean, this is a long box, too, obviously, so, I mean, um, people ask me what my favorite is, a long box or a short box, and I'll be honest right now, I'm pretty kind of partial. It doesn't really matter to me. Like, uh, if I had the opportunity to buy a, a short box, uh, if something came up, I probably would buy it, um. But I would also buy this truck too, and not and just you know drive it the way that it is. Uh, uh, th the reason why it's not a big deal is because you know like a an older truck like this, I don't really use it. Would wouldn't really use this stuff to haul anything anymore. It's more or less just like a nice cruiser, like a car or something like that to me. So that's why I'm not too concerned about the bed space that back there. So yeah, that hopefully that answers that question at least anyway. But yeah, we'll keep uh, going around this thing, see what she looks like. He's got a lot of pictures on this ad. This guy's usually pretty good, to be honest. Anytime he brings a truck back, or he's got he's got a bunch of them up for sale, but he always takes a lot of pictures of them, which is really good. So I can't really harp on this guy too much for not taking enough pictures. And he's pretty detailed with his pictures, so you kind of if you don't look at the ad, you shouldn't. Uh, at least you know what you're getting anyway. So. So it's got the, I mean, it's got the dog dish hubcaps all the way around, uh, that there, I mean, not bad, not too bad, I mean, uh, it looks pretty good to me, um, I'm not sure if I'd swap the wheels out or not, or maybe give the rims a sandblast and paint them white or something, I mean, who knows, uh, or just put like a, maybe a later model wheel or something on them, I'm not too sure, it's a two wheel drive truck, obviously. There's the back driver's side here. I mean, <laughs> completely opposite to the other side. Just, you know, totally straight down this side. You know, it looks really decent. Tailgate doesn't look too too bad, actually. It's got the right patina on it. Just a little bit of, like, um, 
surface rust, like a, I want to call it stained surface rust, maybe, I don't know. If you guys have another name for that kind of rust, just drop it in the comments. I'm always open to hear everybody else's uh, terms and uh, what have you. Um, I'm not too sure if it's been painted or not, or that's the original color. I got no clue. It's hard to say. Um, I think it might be the original color. It doesn't look like it was uh, really uh, driven too far, like on the highways or something. Like, it, what I mean is it looks like it might have been one of those trucks that just, like, uh, stayed around the farm or something like that, possibly. I don't know. These trucks come from uh, Alberta, so... I don't know. Who knows where they come from? Maybe farms, maybe anywhere, so... Um, I always assume it's a farm for some reason. I don't know why. But, yeah, it's got a little bit of... A few little dings up here. I mean, that's just typical. I mean, these trucks were... You know, they are built for trucks back then. You're going to find a lot of that stuff there still, so. Um, what else we got? So here's the... Uh, rocker's pretty solid, actually. It looks like it's just bent up a bit. I would just try and get some, uh, maybe vice grips or something, like those, uh, maybe channel locks or something, or try and just kind of pull that back, maybe. Or get a ratchet strap and try it. And uh, But look at the interior on this truck, though. It's pretty clean, actually. Nice and white. I mean, that does look like the original color, I guess, because the dash is all orange in there, too. So, I mean, um, I have my doubts. It's been painted. That's what it looks like to me. It's almost like a, a fire, like a, like a red, reddish orange color. I don't know what the... The GM color code was that for that? I'm not too sure. If you guys know, drop her down in the comments. But yeah, like all you'd have to do is just, you know, go out these doors with some like Dawn dish soap and a brush. I mean, yeah, just give them a scrub and you could bring that, that white right, right back almost, I would assume. Uh, I don't know, $6,900. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that price. Uh, this truck is pretty complete, though. Like, I can't... It'd be hard to... I don't know. Let me know what you guys would pay for this truck. It, like I said, pretty complete. Not really missing anything. Um, it's got some dings and dents and a little bit of rust. But, I mean, it is what it is. Oh. So, here's the uh, picture of the bench seat. Not sure if that's original, original or not. Maybe it is. Um... Uh, the only reason why I say that is because I'm not, I not—I never knew what the seat belts in these trucks look like. I don't know if they... Because these almost look like car seat belts. I could be wrong, though. But other I mean, other than that, though, the benches looks like it's in pretty good shape. Just needs a scrub down, you know? So, I've um, never seen an orange... And, or, like, an orangish-red truck with white interior. It's kind of unique. Um... But yeah, it looks like it doesn't need much, really. Just a good cleaning in here, I think. I mean, the floor in it looks not bad, actually. It's got a nice, uh, nice cover across the whole floor, so... All the instruments look pretty good. And the dash is a little bit cracked, but you can replace those, so... So there's the small block. Um, so, power, it looks like it's power brakes, and I don't see any power steering on this truck, standard steering truck. I'd probably try and convert it to power if I could, somehow. Um, that's what I would do. Um, but again, like, in, in, just inside this truck, all you gotta do, like, literally, it looks like just hit it with some degreaser here, give it a good pressure wash, and good to go, almost. Replace a few things here and there, maybe, but, uh, yeah, not bad, really, like, it's, I mean, yeah, like, overall, it's pretty solid, it looks like. So there's the other side shot of the small block there, it's three, yeah, 350, so, uh, pretty basic in here, uh, no AC or nothing, I mean, I don't give a shit about that, really, but. Um, yeah, it'd be pretty easy to clean all this up. It's a, it's a runner, too, a runner and driver, so very only. 
Okay, so I mean, there's a bit of work under here that has to be done. Uh, it looks like it needs uh, like those cab braces. I uh, think it needs one on the other side too, so you'd have to have to replace these things here, I guess, and possibly one at the back up here as well. One up there. I don't know, let's see if I can show you guys out there. That one's kind of looks like it might be toast. But the frame on this truck though is pretty friggin' clean. It's just like a really, it looks like almost like a really light surface rust. I mean, if you were to sandblast that, you'd have a nice, not too bad looking frame actually. I might need a rocker on this side possibly. There's a few little holes there popping through, but it doesn't look too bad actually. Um, I wish Ontario trucks were this clean underneath. <laughs> I say it looks clean even though there's rust, but that's more. That rust is more solid than Ontario rust. Alright, so the back side of the frame, I mean, might have to replace some of these cross rails. I mean, they, it's, that's just typical. I mean, you can buy all that stuff brand new. So, uh, this is a wooden plank bed in it. Um, as you guys can tell, looks like this truck is a coil spring truck looks like so it's got the it's got the trailing art uh, well that's kind of weird actually it's got the looks like it's got a leaf spring mount or something there or maybe that's just oh that might be just for a mud flap or something yeah yeah it's got the trail I uh, would assume it's got the trailing arm suspension on it I guess yeah so I mean this there's a bit of a chunk right out of this whole uh, uh, cab mount there so that has to be replaced obviously but it, it's not too bad though like it, yeah so I mean you could probably just get away with just uh, even like either sandblasting the frame on this thing if you took if you pop the box off or you could probably either just take a wire brush to it or uh, maybe get like a grinder with a wire wheel or something I mean it'd be pretty easy to get rid of some of this rust it's just surface that's all I mean pretty solid truck I gotta say um, let me show you the, so here's the bed, uh, pretty clean, I mean, you could just, some of these planks are a little bit rotten, you could just throw some new planks in it, that's no big deal, uh, tailgate's pretty solid, I mean, just overall, uh, pretty decent truck, I mean, I, I, I don't know, I think for my neck of the woods, it's probably worth about, I'd say, what he's asking, maybe 6700 or something like that, um, it looks like it does have a cracked windshield. I didn't notice that at first glance. Um, might have to knock a couple hundred bucks off because of that, maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just not too shabby at all. Like even the inner wheel tubs of the bed here, they're not even that dinged up to be honest. It's little minor dents in them. Uh, I don't know. That just shows to me that this truck was hardly used. I would I would assume. Um, although the uh, the passenger side doesn't really indicate that, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know, I, I think it's a pretty good truck, uh, you guys let me know what you think about it, just drop it in the comments, and, uh, I think that's all I got on this thing, I think we kind of went through all the pictures pretty well, yeah, just, uh, it's overall just a good driver, I think, I think I would probably just, uh, Clean it up as best I could. Maybe try to pound out some of these dents with a with a mallet, like the the box sides I do with a mallet. Maybe try to straighten that out and uh, pound this dent out here with like a like a bodywork hammer and a dolly or something like that. And then uh, even that bumper, you could probably just get a ratchet strap on it there and just kind of bend it back a little bit. And uh, even the bumper's got some nice patina on it too. So yeah, just a pretty good truck. Few minor things I have to replace that rear tail light though uh, but yeah no big deal slap some white paint on that bumper there but uh yeah not too shabby um where's that one picture there it does look like it was probably sitting in the mud somewhere you can see the rust stain so like flat tires or something like that right so, I mean, that's a bit of an indication of it was sitting for a while. If you look at the steel wheels and you see, like, a stain in one spot. So, I mean, but uh, it's 
Yeah, his should be alright, though. He says it's a runner, so, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, I'd buy it in a heartbeat, for sure. Put some dual exhaust on it there, and, uh... Just take her for... Use it. Do it. Just use it for cruising. Yeah, alright guys. Well, uh, thanks a lot for watching that, and we'll check you later.